Hello guys, Brickley here, and today we have more leaks, so stay tuned to find out more. If you do enjoy the video, why not like the video as well as subscribe and turn on notifications, but let's get into it. So to kick things off, we're going to be talking about all the promos to expect for the rest of November, which is set to be packed with deals and promotions. And first off, we're going to start off with LEGO's annual VIP or Insiders Weekend. This one this year will be taking place between the 18th to the 19th of November. So that is basically when if you're a LEGO Insider, you'll get access to all these free gifts and promotions. And the first one up is going to be a brand new LEGO Christmas set, this one being the Winter Market Stall. It's going to be available with a $170 spend on anything, likely around £150 in the UK. Okay. Quite a high threshold for this one, but usually around VIP weekend, we do get those higher thresholds. As you get into a moment, you can stack them with a lot of other stuff. Then, second off, we finally have images of the very highly anticipated LEGO Magisto promo. That one is going to be available between the 18th to the 19th of November. That one, free with a $250 spend and around £220 in the UK. So, definitely a high threshold to get Magisto, but on top of that, you will also get the Winter Market Store, which isn't too bad. And then, finally, over VIP weekend, we'll have one small promotion. This one being a poly bag of the Christmas train. This one free with $40 spends on anything, so £35. Nice little poly bag to get as a bonus if you're only buying a little thing or on top of all the other ones. Of course, with it being Insiders Weekend, you will receive double Insiders points on everything on the 18th and the 19th. So potentially you can get free promos and also double Insiders points. Definitely some good deals to be had on the 18th and 19th. But also across the whole of November period from the, the 17th to the 27th of November, you're able to buy 20% off the rest of these sets I'm going to talk about so that includes assembly square the medieval blacksmith the ford mustang the apollo lunar lander ideas winnie the pooh the star wars ucs republic gunship the star wars ucs luke's land speeder lego ninjago city gardens the eiffel tower the little mermaid royal clamshell captain america's shield the city freight train and also the hogwarts chamber of secrets so between the 17th to the 27th of november those will be 20 percent off if you buy them on the 18th or the 19th of course you get all those promos and also double points on top so there's been incredible deals to be had and then also from the 17th to the 27th of november certain sets are going to have four times insider points on them those include the lego tenet bmw motorcycle once again the city freight train and also the hogwarts castle will be included the two you can see on screen now so potentially if you buy those during actual uh, vip weekend you're going to get 20 percent off and also four times vip on the city and harry potter set which is a great deal and then finally we have three times insider points from the 17th to the 27th of november these include the back curve shadow box the Pac-Man Arcade Machine, the Land Rover Classic Defender, the I Icons Corvette, the Icons Tranquil Garden, the Monkey Kid, the Dragon of the East Palace, also the Technic John Deere set, and then a couple of Dream sets, including the Dream's Treehouse, Mr. Oz's Space Bus, and also the Fantastical Stable of the Dream Creatures, and then finally, we will have a small Duplo set, so all of those three times insider points from the 17th to the 27th of November. Then we're going to move on to the LEGO Black Friday promotions. These are going to be a little bit later in the month, of course, Black Friday being from the 24th to the 27th of, all, of November. So we're going to be getting first off as the smallest promotion is this brand new LEGO Creator Snowman Poly Bag. That one free with $40 spends on anything, but that one will only be available on Black Friday itself. So on the 24th of November, not a bad poly bag to get if you're buying any of the big sets coming out or just some other stuff. And then once again, the promos we just mentioned are going to repeat for Black Friday. So the Christmas market store, once again, available for $100. And seventy dollar spends from the twenty fourth to the twenty seventh of November, and then also the Magisto promo once again for two hundred and fifty dollar spends. This one will only be available from the Friday to the Sunday night, so it won't be included on Cyber Monday. And of course, if you've been following up to date with the latest Lego leaks, you'll know the brand new Avengers Tower is on the way. Reveal is tomorrow, by the way. Also, if you buy that one on Black Friday, you're going to get those free promos I just mentioned, but also the Avengers Taxi gift until it sells out, exclusive to the Avengers Tower. Then, in terms of an online promo, we are going to be getting a blanket for this year, a brand new. Christmas one in red and white. This one should be available only on Cyber Monday, so the 27th, and only an online promotion. We don't know the exact threshold, but roughly around $250, so a high threshold for this one. So yeah, that is a lot of promos coming in November. I'd say the best day to buy if you want. If you don't want Avengers Tower as the brand new set, would be on the 18th of November. You're going to get free promos if you spend another $250. Double insider points and potentially 20% off if some of those sets take your interest. And thanks to the guys over on the LEGO League Reddit and for put together this calendar. If you want a screenshot showing all the different timetables for the promotions then this year we got a brand new lego technic seat being the mars lunar rover 
Seems like next year we'll also be getting another one being full to 182. This one being the 1970 Apollo Moon Rover, which is a very exciting one to revisit. It's going to be coming in with a price tag of $250 or £220. This one is launching in the summer on June 1st, 2024. So that one is going to be a big set for a brand new Moon Rover. Obviously a lot bigger than the one they just released. So I'm interested to see how they do that one. And Lego, of course, they're doing a lot of space sets next year. So it makes sense to. And it'll be in the same kind of size and price range as we saw with that BMW mud cycle. Also, a few of the bigger Technic construction vehicles. And then let's hope as well next summer we are also going to get a brand new Technic supercar. But at the moment, that isn't confirmed. And then we've got some brand new images of some brand new Lego Minecraft sets which are launching in January. Kind of completing the wave as we'd only got images of a few of them. So first one, we have the Desert Expedition. I think this one's going to be called, including Steve. And then also a camel for the first time coming in for $10. First time again, a camel. Then we're going to the Frog House. I think this one is going to be coming in for about $50, so £45. It looks like a pretty cool one. And then finally, we have one based on Minecraft Legends. That one coming in for $40. And those, along with the other Minecraft sets, are going to be launching on January 1st. In certain regions, the two that were revealed last week will launch on December 1st. But what did get revealed yesterday is a brand new LEGO Spring Festival set launching on January 1st globally. These include the Chinese Dinner Reunion. This one, $130, £90. Incredible value of 1,800 pieces. I think about 60 minifigures. Also includes the amazing The Year of the Dragon minifigure. That one is definitely going to be a day one buy for me. And on top of that, we also have the Dragon Ornament. That one coming in for, I think, what is going to be $90 or £70. That one, no minifigures, but it is meant a display model and it does look pretty incredible. It has a movable mouth, also a great stand, which is built on, so definitely one I will want to be getting. Then every year, LEGO does an exclusive employee gift only for its employees, so about 23,000 I think it is now, so that's how many of these are made, and they're only given out near Christmas to employees. And this year, we've got revealed it is a small set of Microsoft gingerbread houses, and on the back of them, we don't have a picture, but there will be 24 doors. So essentially, you create in your own advent calendar, and it's built out with LEGO, which is really cool. Of course, in recent years, we have had licensed one like Star Wars, which fetched some crazy value on the aftermarket, and also the Ninjago Temple of Celebrations. Last year, we got the Friends one, which doesn't fetch as high of a value, and it probably will be similar case this year. So if you want it, you're gonna have to get it maybe off eBay. It will be expensive, but not super expensive, I imagine, this year with the hype around it. And then actually, speaking of Christmas sets, we haven't even yet opened the advent calendars for this year, but we already have info on advent calendars for 2024. And a brand new for the one for the range being 43253. This one being the Disney advent calendar. To include the minifigures or mini dolls we don't yet know of Elsa, Moana, Ariel, Mirabel, and Tiana. Ta 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 that one is gonna be launching for the usual price of advent calendars in your country. I'm launching on September 1st, 2024. So a brand new license is joining the advent calendars. It'd be interesting to see if they stop doing one next year. We'll just have to see. And of course, as always, if you have any leaks, rumors, early set finds, anything like that, you can mail me over on BrickClickerLeaks at gmail.com or you can follow me and also message me over on Instagram where we do also post the latest LEGO news. But some brand new news that we got just now as I was editing this video is some images of some brand new LEGO Mario sets. These include the two Yoshi set. That one is going to be coming in for $10. And once again, the course builder, so I'm not too bold about this one. And then also Sem1431 being the Bowser muscle car. That one including Bowser as a brick built format and also a car for $30. Feels pretty good value for the Mario line. So all of those Mario sets will be launching on January 1st. Then we got a look at the brand new Plane Phase 2 Trooper minifigure, which will be coming in the Clones and Battle Drive Battle Pack for Star Wars. That one is going to be launching on January 1st. It's pretty much what you expect from these troopers in the brand new format that they've done over recent years with the helmet holes and things like that. It looks like a pretty good figure. And then for the LEGO City lineup, we are getting a brand new Alien minifigure coming in the some of the January space sets. This one looks to potentially have the classic space logo printed in the top left. I'm not too sure, but it looks to be quite a cartoony one. So I'm excited to see those sets. And then this summer, LEGO launched a brand new 4 Plus line being Gabby's Dollhouse, which has gone down an absolute success. It seems they're launching a brand new 4 Plus theme next summer. This one is set to be LEGO Peppa Pig, which obviously it seems like a match made in heaven for LEGO and also 4 Plus sets. There's a lot of characters to choose from from Peppa Pig, so I imagine we'll see quite a lot of new molded heads and new molded characters like we saw in the Gabby's Dollhouse sets. I suspect those to be launching in either June or August of 2024. To be honest, I'm quite excited to finally get LEGO Peppa Pig. And what we also got images of is some brand new LEGO Friend sets. These are going to be launching on January 1st, 2024. I'm not too sure on the exact pricing on these sadly, but we look to have kind of some manor house, which is looking incredible. Once again, LEGO Friends are killing it with the architecture. I would guess that one will be about $150. Then we have what looks to be some sort of adventure outdoor playground kind of thing. So once again, some great building techniques and mini dolls. I bet about $90 on that one. Well, that at the Heart Lake City Hospital. That one should be around $90 as well, looking pretty good. And then we also have what looks to be a little street venue, which would look good to some of the sets friends released last summer. Then finally, we have the smaller set, which looks to be some sort of bakery or hairdresser. So like I said, those friend sets are going to be launching on January 1st. Once again, friends got some amazing architecture included. 
But what was amazing as well in terms of grandeur and the looks is the Lego and Jargon Megalopolis. This one $190, £160 is going to include uh, about 30 minifigures, which is a really cool set. That one launching on January 1st. But actually, that does celebrate five years of Lego Monkey Kid. So Lego is also doing a select promo to celebrate that with what looks to be an exclusive Monkey King minifigure. It's not sure yet if this one will be available just exclusively in Asia or other regions, so we'll have to see. But that one is definitely looking pretty good. And then the Lego Minecraft theme hasn't really seen an 18 plus set yet, or ones which more seen in adults in a long, long time now. But that looks like it's about to change in 2024 with 21265, the Ender Dragon and the End Ship. This one is going to be an 18 plus set coming in for $80 or £70. It's launching in almost a year's time on September 1st, 2024. The way I could see this one being is similar to the Star Wars Diorama. So a small play set kind of build that you can display on your desk. And this one will include the Ender Dragon, probably Steve, and also the End Ship. So I'm definitely excited to see how Minecraft takes on that 18 plus lineup. And we have also got the prices for the other sets launching in summer. Those will be June or August, ranging all the way from $15 up to $90. One of the builds is also rumored to be a pirate ship. So I'm interested to see what those end up being. Then we saw the Lego Dreams theme launch in August, and we got some more information for that in terms of the next summer wave, in terms of the prices. So there's not much to go off yet, really, other than the cheapest set will be $30, and the most expensive being $130. So we're looking at about six or seven sets for next summer, and if they're anything as good as the ones we just saw released, I'm sure these one will be impressive. Remember, we are getting some cheaper sets launching in January. We should see images of in the next few weeks. And then for the Lego Ninjago theme, we got a look at one of the Wolf Warriors, this one including an awesome new headpiece. You can see it has a little bandana tied on the back. Brand new torso printing as well. It's looking like a great figure. You can actually see underneath the helmet there is going to be an exclusive face print, so it will be a hollow center, not a fully molded headpiece. And then it's quite funny, this figure actually leaked by a magazine turn up early or someone finding it early, something like that. So this will be included in one of the January sets, then probably a magazine in either January or February. And we also got a look at the next edition of the Lord Raz minifigure, which will be included in the January sets. I presume more of the expensive sets, given he is one of the main villains. But of course, all the brand new Ninjago sets for next year will be a continuation of the Dragon's Rising Wave. And we actually got information on the summer wave for that one as well. Quite a small wave, between $11, but all going all the way up to $150. Typically, for Ninjago, we see the biggest sets launch in the summer. So I presume that will be the case, as we are getting a wave in January and also March of a lot of smaller sets. So that probably explains why there isn't too many small sets in that wave. And then just yesterday, we saw the launch of the Lego Mario Piranha Plant, which has been selling out all over and going on back order. And then we also got prices for Super Mario next summer. Those are going to range from $16 all the way up to a massive 18 plus set coming in at $170. Um, these could be the cost border. They could be minifigures. We're just not sure yet. But it will be interesting to see what that 18 plus set is coming in at $170. And of course, this year, we got a much smaller one with the Piranha Plant. But in years past, we have got ones around that size, like the question mark block. So it really is a question of what those will end up being. Then we're going to move on to a, as another theme which is kind of getting its own botanical set being Harry Potter being 76433 this one is set to be a buildable mandrake so this one essentially a buildable mandrake you display on your desk something a bit novel idea for the Lego Harry Potter line that one including 579 pieces and should be coming in for $65 or £60 that one is launching as part of the summer Harry Potter wave on June 1st 2024 probably a set which is going to appeal to kind of non-Lego fans just casual fans kind of like the Dobby set did and that one has been really selling really well as well and then today we also got images official ones of the Lego Brickhead the first one for 2024 being the Lunar New Year Mickey Mouse this one launching on January 1st for the usual $10 or £10 loving this one it is Brickhead number 215 so I'm excited to pick that one up and also the Lunar New Year Festival calendar that one coming in for $30 or £26 I think it is also launching on January 1st it's cool you can even display the calendar on the stand or also on top of the dragon so I like that customization and if you want to look at all the official reveals of these Chinese export you can check them out on the second channel which I link below being clicker plus and then over the next few weeks there is going to be some brand new flagship lego stores launching around the world first off it's going to be the brand new one in the Trafford center in the uk we now have an opening day we know when it's going to be opening which will be next week on thursday the 16th of november at 10 a.m so that's going to be the brand new one for the uk store and then over in sydney they are going to be opening the world's largest lego store that one is opening in just a few days time on saturday the 10th of november so both of those will have a lot of theme models based around that area of the where they are in the world and then for the final reveal we got a look at the friends lego shopping mall this one is going to be coming in for 120 dollars or 105 pound launching on january 1st introduces some new mini doll characters it's looking pretty good as a play set which i'm sure kids will love and then on shop at home in certain regions lego have launched some christmas t-shirts and christmas jumpers so you want to get those with a gingerbread man on or some christmas brick built stuff around the neck you can get those in time for christmas but yeah that was a very big episode today a lot of news i'm loving those brand new chinese new year sets i think they look amazing cannot wait to get them i'm excited to see what my 
Minecraft does. Now it's doing more adult sets again. The new Brickhead is looking amazing as the cores I collect them all. A lot of promos are going to be coming for the rest of November. And those brand new minifigures are looking good from Ninjago and also Lego City. So comment down below. What are you excited for? What are you not? You can like the video, subscribe, and some notifications for more Lego videos or Lego news videos. You watch any other videos on screen now. Remember guys, keep clicking and bricking. I'll see you all later guys. Bye bye.